Hello, I'd like to walk you through getting a Windows partition from one Mac to another over the network using WinClone 4. Very simple operation. The first step is prepare the source. What we do is we run sysprep on Windows. It's located in the C drive, in the Windows folder, uh, System32, and the sysprep folder. Open that up and then you can run the sysprep uh, application itself. Um, the only option we need to do is select generalize and shut down. So I'll shut down the machine after it's been done. This generalizes the system, makes it easier to image. So we'll go ahead and image it. The way we do that is we open up WinClone on the source and the destination. The source is a MacBook Air, destination is a MacBook Pro. Um, we go ahead and select the uh, bootcamp partition and shrink it. This allows us to restore it onto the widest variety of sizes possible. That's done. So now we'll go and turn sharing on by going into the preferences and in the source we'll turn on sharing over the network and you'll see that the source now appears in the destination. We'll, we'll select it and the source will be asked if you want to allow it and say yes. Now we'll see the, the bootcamp partition that's on the source. We also don't have a bootcamp partition yet so we'll go ahead and create one. We'll open up disk utility and select the drive itself, click partition and create a 25 gig partition um, to restore Windows onto it. We'll give it a good name and also format it as FAT just to tell WinClone that that's the partition we want to use. So it'll go ahead and create the Windows partition. Um, once it's completed, it'll now show up in the interface and you'll see we have a bootcamp partition restored to, which is exactly what we'll do. We'll select the source over the network, the destination, and then click restore. And it'll go ahead and migrate uh, win Windows or copy Windows from the source to the destination. When that's completed, we'll go ahead and restart it to Windows and we can now uh, allow sysprep to go ahead and do its magic. When Windows first comes up, it will rediscover all the drivers and get it into a basic state. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't mean you don't have to install the bootcamp drivers. You'll still have to do that for the, the new hardware you're putting it onto. But it gets into a state where you can get into and use it. One of the things it also does is it requires you to go through the setup assistant and it sets up a, a new administrator account. But don't worry, your old administrator account is still there. So we'll go ahead and uh, agree to the licensing. We'll give it a name. We'll just do the express settings, but we'll also create a new local account. This is that local administrator account I was talking about. We'll just have one called test user and we'll give it a password and then we'll go ahead and um, allow it to do its little tutorial and the settings. Once that's all been done, it'll automatically log you in as that new administrator user. Very simple, we just log out of that new administrator user, and now you can see that your old user is still there, and you log into them. And at this point, you're back for all the settings, and you can go ahead and uh, install the bootcamp drivers, as well as uh, remove that other administrative account. We have lots of other resources available at twocanoes.com, including detailed documentation on how this process worked, as well as lots of other processes. So make sure you check out twocanoes.com for more resources, and thanks for watching.